Welcome to another DV Kitchen screencast, and this is our first 2.0 screencast showing you the completely revamped media publishing room. So to start this out, I'm just going to drag a clip in and just do a, uh, a little encode here and choose a folder. We'll just hit go. We have completely redesigned and rebuilt the media publishing room, and it has now some features that have never been done before, and it's just amazing. And the reason we're encoding and uploading a clip now is because we want to show you how the media publishing room works with clips that you have just encoded and uploaded and how easy it is to create many different types of presentation for your clips on a web page. So to get to the publish room, we're going to click publish. And right off the bat, you see it's a lot different than it used to be. We've got movies, images, and copy URLs all in separate choices. In this movie, we're going to be looking at publish movies. So we're going to click. And since we just encoded and uploaded that clip, it's still in our main console in our media list. And since it is, we can just hit this blue button, import from main console. And once we click this, whether we've got one movie or a zillion, they will all be placed in this field. And those are the movies that we want to publish. A lot of times you'll just be publishing one movie like we are right now. So now I'm going to click next step. And you see we have choices, QuickTime, your own Flash Player or Shadowbox. For right now, we're just going to look at QuickTime. And this is to present your movie in QuickTime. We've got three QuickTime options. The normal QuickTime Embed, which we'll take a look at. This is a great choice if you want your movie to uh, appear in a web page and maybe autoplay when someone first gets to the, maybe the front page of your website. And you see that DV Kitchen has automatically generated the code. Uh, we're, instead of customizing the pages and stuff, we're just going to get right to it. Of course, you can type in a page title and a caption, things like that. and You can make something autoplay, let's say, and not have an, a, a controller. And let's just choose a destination for this particular uh, test. Okay, so we'll hit Upload Page, and we'll call it Test. And do you want to see it? Yes. And there's our page. And there's our movie. It auto plays just like we said, and it has no controller. And that's how easy it is. And the code's all there. Now you can have a whole HTML page or just a code snippet. So if you're hand coding your HTML or if you, uh, you know, have a blog or CMS or use Dreamweaver or whatever, you can just copy these lines starting with script and ending with script. And you can just paste that in your page and it's that easy. You don't have to type in where your movie is, height, width, any of that stuff, and it's very compatible with you know any browser, any platform, and it's just uh, it works great. But we can also do form embed code, by the way, just in one click. We're gonna go back to HTML page, so that's a great thing for one movie that you just want to be in your page. Now, if you have more than one movie, it's not a good idea to have them all start buffering at the same time because it makes the browser kind of sluggish. And so we're going to look at some poster frame options. Here is using our default poster frame, which is kind of a shiny chrome kind of play button. And it's actually generating uh, the poster frame. And if we just hit upload page, then you'll see that what happens in this page is we have a one frame movie, which is, again, this image that we've provided. Once you click this, then the movie replaces it on the page. So that way you can have a million of these. It doesn't slow down your browser. And if you want to create your own graphic, the manual tells you where our graphic is stored. So instead of our Chrome looking thing, you can, uh, you know, if you have a, a certain company logo or a certain graphic that you want to be the poster frame for all your movies, just replace ours and bingo. Or if you like ours, just use that. Now, custom poster frame. This is awesome. With this option, this is brand new. You click it, it loads your movie into this player. We can now scrub through the movie just by clicking on it and dragging. You can use the controller too if you want to. And you choose a frame that represents this movie. Once you've got your frame, you say choose poster frame. It actually exports this frame as a still, uploads it, writes the code, everything done for you. Now all we have to do is upload the page. And now you see that the poster frame that we chose is right there, it has a you know play kind of uh, triangle and circle. And all your viewer has to do is click anywhere that's a very familiar thing for them. And it's replaced by the movie. So, again, just uh, so easy to generate movies with poster frames. It's never been this easy. So that is revolutionary. And that's with QuickTime Publishing. So if you want to try this out on some of your own movies you've already published, just head on over to the website. 
and download the free trial. It's a fully functional version of DB Kitchen, yours to use for 20 days. And thanks for watching.